Hey there all Qtubers, HMB is back with a new sawdust burner. I know you guys probably thought I was done with all that pellet nonsense, but when I saw this this little grill here, it's a, it's a tabletop model, and I saw my buddy Tom Horseman give his honest review on this thing, and I was like, man, I, I, I gotta look into this, and, and the thing... The thing that sold me on this, there's, there's the manual there. The thing that sold me on this is, look at this huge pellet hopper. They say that could hold 13 pounds of pellets. That's pretty amazing for a little tabletop. And, and the other thing that I really like, let me take you down inside. If you guys haven't seen this thing yet. Look at the design of the fire pot. This is a drop down into design. Now, my other pellet grills, the, the auger, it was right down there in the fire pot. Okay, and it might have been my fault several times, but I'd get burned back into the auger and into the, into the pellet hopper. On both of my, both of my pellet grills that I had, had previously I had burn back hey it could have been my fault but this design right here where it, it the auger feeds the pellets and it drops down it's almost impossible I originally seen this uh, kind of kind of design on the Gorilla Gorilla brand uh, pellet grills and I just thought that was brilliant when I saw that and so for a little mini tabletop look at this I don't need a huge thing, you know. This is this is going to be a perfect uh, little convenient uh, sawdust burner for me. Now the other thing about this grill is I'm going to show you guys how you get the ultimate true wood smoke flavor. Not by these pellets, because you guys all know I'm not a fan of of the taste or the smell of burning sawdust. Now this is just my fuel. This is just my, my heat source. I'm going to achieve true wood smoke flavor just like I've done in the past on my my gas grill. You know, the Weber Q3200. How did I get true wood smoke flavor in a gas grill? Well, in the past I've done all kind of crazy stuff in my Traeger, Traeger pellet, pellet grill trying to get true wood smoke in this and the answer was right, right in front of me the whole time. Smoke tube. But, not like everybody else out there, they were putting pellets in a smoke tube. That's not the, that's not the way to go. The secret is real wood chips. That's right. Real wood chips. I've done videos on it. Get a lot of comments. We put real smoking wood chips in in the smoke tube. They smolder. They give you the 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 flavor and the true wood smoke and flavor of real wood, not the sawdust. So this grill, these pellets. I'm just, I, I paid 11 bucks for 20 pounds. Okay, they're hardwood pellets. Not going to name the brand, but they were cheap. 11 bucks, okay. All I need is a heat source. My heat source here, my smoldering true wood flavor is going to be through the smoke tube. And that's how you get the ultimate true wood smoke flavor into your food in a mini tabletop sawdust burner all right so now we got to do the burning they say uh get it going let it run for 45 minutes so we're gonna do that we might cook something today but main thing is just want to talk about how you could get the ultimate wood smoke flavor in tabletop pellet grill or actually any pellet grill 
wood chips. All right, here we go. Pellets are dropping down in. Got this prime button here. It speeds up the auger. Just gonna drop those down in there. You know, like Mrs. HMB says, I could I destroy everything. Well, yeah. I do destroy everything and I guarantee you I'm not going to destroy this by getting burned back into the hopper with this design right here. I mean, I don't think even I could uh, mess this one up, so that's, that's what uh, drew me to getting this, this grill was this drop down in design. Okay, we got our fire started down there. Let me get that drip pan put on there. All right, I got the drip pan on there. All right, the manual says turn it up to high. And uh, that's 450, I don't know if you can see that, but it's high. And I got this uh, meat temp probe. Uh, there's, the, there's the temp probe for the, uh, for the grill, but I'm gonna use the meat temp probe, set that and see what temperature actually is in the grill there. So let me close this, shut this down, and let it go for 45 minutes. All right, there it is. I don't even know how you say this. What do you say? Uh, Seiko roll. Whatever. It's my new toy. Alright, so after running for about 15 minutes, it's burning off a lot of that grease and factory stuff. Uh, you know, it was smoking pretty good. I just want to show you here, if you can see that. that set it cook at 450 high, that's the high, highest temperature on this thing. Now, the, the actual, the, the sensor for the unit is reading 401, but the probe 1 which is, they give it to you for your, your meat, your meat probe, but I got that right, right on where the grill grate would be. Uh, that, that probe is reading uh, 479 right now, so it's almost, almost eight, you know, 80 degree difference. So that'll, that'll come into, a, into play whenever, you know, I got something, something on, on the grill. And then I could adjust it. You know, I, I I always put my temp probes on the grate next to the the food I'm cooking. You know, I really don't go by those uh, those uh, temp sensors that are tucked up in a corner somewhere on on any grill. You, you know, I I always go by the temp grill grate level, meat level. So that's why I'm using uh, this this probe in that fashion so all right so far I have to say uh, I'm pretty impressed with this little thing because you know you set it at high which is at 450 and the temperature it, it reads just about 450 I mean it's it's 438 right now it was just at 442 so it's fairly close the the probe it's reading a lot higher it's reading 4 you see that 496, 497. So, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. That's all I got to say. You said it, and I've been going back and forth between high and 400, and this will drop down, and you'll be able to see that the that this this is a lot closer than, uh, I hate, hate to say it, you know, the original, my Traeger. You know, that thing, that, that would have temp swings crazy 50 degrees this way 50 degrees this way 70 degrees this way I mean it just was a mess and I gotta tell you I really like the uh, design of this see the vents how they're they're low and if you look let me open this if you look this has this shield here okay that shield so you see where those vents are all right look at that probe right there right in the center so okay back to this see how that shield is so the heat is coming up and it's coming this way so for it to go out it has to come up 
and down to go out those vents back there. I've always liked that idea of the heat and the smoke being up where your up where your meat is and then coming out at a lower level because then you got all your heat and your smoke surrounding your meat whatever you're cooking so very clever design instead of like a stack up top so your heat and smoke comes up rolls across and goes out pretty cool man and you know what did I say this before maybe I forgot I paid $199 for this Black Friday sale $199 I think on Cyber Monday the price dropped to $189 I mean can you believe it I mean this thing is I mean some of the tin is a little flimsy but this is a pretty heavy duty uh, a little pellet grill really it's it's not bad and a hundred ninety nine dollars folks a hundred ninety nine dollars tabletop model I ain't complaining got me back in the sawdust burning game all right that's about 45 minutes maybe 50 minutes I gotta tell you I'm impressed the the temp sensor is reading 449 you see that it's, this is set at five or 450 so it's spot on with that now the probe where the great level is it's you know a hundred degrees higher so whenever we're cooking we're gonna adjust that so all right let me let me shut this down because I need to get get that pan out of there and I need to get my that's right my true wood smoke flavor smoldering pecan that's right smoldering pecan alright let this thing cool down and guess what we're gonna do a meatloaf why not and I'm gonna show you my other setup that I use for sawdust burners because see see the temp right there that's hot really hot see where that sensor is up higher there not so hot so you just keep watching you'll see you'll see what I got going I've done it before I've told you it, it's no big deal but it's the key and it's the secret to not burning and drying out your stuff in uh, this sawdust burner. Stay tuned. All right, we're having fun now. All right, I got that fire pot going, that going on, and I got my smoke tube. Got that going. Let me blow this out. All right, so now. We got smoldering pecan. Just go and set this in here. Alright, just like that. Alright, just like that. Smoldering pecan. Got my fire pot going. Now we'll have true pecan wood smoke flavor. We got combustion from the pellets. All right, that's what you need. That helps with the smoke ring. See that? Best of both worlds. I need a picture of this. Okay, so I got the drip pan in there and an additional pan. It's a cookie sheet. And we're gonna put hot water. Hot water right in that pan. like that all right so that's that's the trick that's the secret right there I'm on a level a little bit here but that's all right that's all right a little bit of water that's gonna be my drip pan and uh, let, let this go and I will uh, get that meatloaf on there 
That's it, man. Just like that. All right, so here we have our meatloaf on. Got that temp probe. I'll see the actual temp. Great level next to the meat where the temperature is. And can you see the smoke rolling there? That's that uh, pecan. I could smell that pecan. Now we're going to get a little bit of little bit of smoke on this first so I'm gonna run this at uh, 2 225 225 then we'll turn it up to about uh, 325 or, or or 350 so we'll just see how it goes okay this this little thing's holding pretty good temps at this higher higher temp of 350 I got it at a 350 uh, temp temp sensor is 3 46 and the probe next to the meat is uh, 373 so it's about you know 25 degrees ho hotter by by uh, on the great level so I mean I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this there's no crazy fluctuations it's holding steady even at uh, 350 so well we're gonna be losing daylight here soon just want to show you take a quick little look here Pretty nice. We're getting there. All right. Maybe I'll have a couple pictures of the finished product there. Not about the meatloaf. It's about the new little pellet grill here. Uh, you guys stay tuned and see all the crazy misadventures and different setups I have planned for this little thing. So, all right. HMB is kind of sort of back. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Metal on. I just wanted to show you the smoke tube. It's empty. All those uh, chips smoldered away. It's not a charcoal reveal. It's an ash reveal. So there you go folks, thanks for watching.